Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend prep video. Happy Saturday morning. I just got back from Denver for work this week. I got back around 4.30 p.m. last night. Uh, it's Saturday morning and I'm currently at the car wash. My primary objective for today is to make a big batch of potato soup and chili soup for a fundraiser that our swim team is doing. So that's what I need to do today. I'm gonna go with Adam to get his hair cut and just basically prep a lot of things around the house. Did I say I was getting a car wash right now? <laughs> anyway, so come along with me and we'll see what we can get done. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jen. I'm a full-time working mom. I have two kids and in these videos, I just like to share with you what I get done on the weekend to prepare for the upcoming work week. Okay, so I did stop at Fairway after the car wash for a few things, so I'm gonna show you that. But first of all, I wanna show you guys some of the new Built Bars that I got. And thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring this week's weekend prep video. I'm excited to share these new flavors with you guys. So one of the products I've been loving from them has been the Built Puffs. This is the second flavor that I've tried, the churro marshmallow. I also tried the banana marshmallow chocolate, which is delicious. But I wanna show you kind of what the inside looked like as well. I'm gonna end up having one of these for breakfast today but these puffs are so good I feel like they taste like those marshmallow bunnies that you get <laughs> at Easter time and this is the inside of the churro one you can see that it's super soft and squishy just like marshmallow candy but the best thing is is that they're lower in calories and added sugar like these only have five grams of added sugar as opposed to like a regular candy which would probably have 30 or more one of their new flavors also is the blueberry muffin this one I'm gonna have for breakfast with my coffee this morning a couple of you asked me what they looked like inside so I wanted to show you that too this is what the blueberry built bar looks like inside this one is really delicious they have 17 grams of protein 140 calories i love having these for breakfast when i don't want to eat a full one and then another one of the new flavors i got were the built bites and these are the grasshopper cookie these are really good as well to just kind of like satisfy that sweet tooth they're the same as the built bars except they're well about half the size of a regular built bar which is nice if you just want something a little bit sweet but yeah i would definitely recommend all of these flavors make sure you follow them on social media because they're coming out with new ones all the time but if you guys want to try out built bar i'll have a link down below you can use code genchapen10 to get 10 percent off your first order if you're not sure which one to order first then i would go with like a mixed variety box although i would recommend any flavors <laughs> of the built puffs they have been delicious so i'll leave that link down below once again it is genchapen10 for 10 percent off your first order at built bar this is the blueberry one it tastes like well I mean it tastes like a blueberry muffin but it's also chocolatey which is delicious so I highly recommend it I like really good with coffee okay so let me show you guys what i got from fairway really quick this morning i just needed uh, some produce and a couple of things for the soups that i'm making today so i got some tomato juice i think i'm going to use this for the chili soup today it was on sale i got two cans of dark red kidney beans some butter some cheddar cheese sticks because we were out of those i got some tomatoes for salad that we're gonna have tonight some petite diced tomatoes two cans of chili beans two cans of tomato puree a can of olives for salad a petite dice more petite diced tomatoes I bought more than I needed because I was all out of some of this chili making stuff in my pantry So I wanted to restock. I have not bought these for a while But these are the harvest snaps green pea snack crisps Someone had these this past week when my co-workers did and I was like, oh those sound good I've had those in a long time. So got some of those I got some romaine lettuce for a salad with dinner tonight I think i'm gonna make lasagna some bananas two pounds of strawberries are all out of those I saw that they had the apple hint water, which I don't believe i've tried this flavor before for. So I got one of those and then I got some of these Alani new energy drinks. I don't think I've tried this cherry limeade one before. So that one looks good. I think we've had these two before, but those are sugar-free energy drinks. Some milk for the potato soup, some orange juice for the kids to have with their breakfast. And then I also stopped by my PO box and got some packages. So I'll open those at some point in this video as well. All right. So I'm going to make the chili in the instant pot. They wanted us to bring the soups in something that would keep them warm. So 
that's what I'm gonna do and it's easier to make chili in the Instant Pot anyway. <laughs> so in here I have four pounds of ground beef. I'm making a double batch of chili. So four pounds of ground beef, two onions chopped up and some seasoning. This is about done. I don't think I'm gonna have to drain it. The ground beef was pretty lean and I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. All right, so I added some chili powder in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add this tomato juice. A lot of times I just use tomato sauce, but like I said, they have this tomato juice on sale. I haven't used it in chili in a while, so I figured why not. All right, I'm gonna add some diced tomatoes. So I'm gonna add one can of dark red kidney beans. And then I went ahead and bought the chili beans just because these are already seasoned, but you can use like regular pinto beans or light kidney beans as well. Okay, so I have an eight quart instant pot, which is the larger one, but you still have to make sure that you don't go past the max fill line or it won't come to pressure. So I added a bunch of chili powder to this, some coriander, some cumin, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna stir this up, give it a quick taste, um, add more seasoning if it needs it, and then I will just go ahead and put it on the bean and chili setting. Where is it at? Here it is. Which I think is 30 minutes at high pressure, and this will take a while to come to pressure since there's so much in here. Yeah, but it's gonna be good. All right, so I'm gonna get started on the potato soup. I have a big bowl of potatoes here. I've got carrot, celery, onion, and I'm gonna chop these up. I've got some butter melting and I'll get those sauteing first. Okay, so in my big soup pot here, I've got two onions, carrot, celery, butter, and about eight cloves of garlic. So I'm just gonna saute this over about medium heat until everything's tender while I peel and cube the potatoes. Okay, so I peeled and cubed a ton of potatoes and I put them in here with all the other veggies. If I had to guess, I would probably guess that was about five pounds of potatoes. I'm gonna pour in some water, about eight cups, and then I'm going to add enough to reconstitute with this better than bouillon. This is actually the vegetarian chicken base, but you can use regular chicken broth too. Okay, so I have boiled the potatoes for about 15 minutes and everything is tender now. So I whisked together some flour and and some milk, kind of just to make like a thickening paste for the soup. This is how I thicken my potato soup. And then if it needs thicken more, I'll also use some instant mashed potatoes, which might sound weird to y'all, but this is how we do. So I'm just gonna pour this in and whisk it and then add some more milk. Okay, so added more milk, probably about six cups of milk, and I'm just gonna stir this around and bring it to a simmer. Um, I'll see how thick it is at that point and add potatoes if needed, taste it, see how much salt and pepper it needs, and then we're almost done. The chili is done too. It's just sitting here on like a natural pressure release. I think I'm gonna go ahead and let the steam out if there is any. Oh look, there's none. Ooh, chili, chili. All right, so the chili is done. I seasoned it with a little bit of garlic powder, some more salt and some chili powder. It turned out really good. I also added another can of beans just because I didn't think there was quite enough in there. So I'm gonna transport the chili in here. And then for the potato soup, this turned out really good too. I did thicken it with some potato flakes, seasoned it with some more salt and pepper. And then I just have a box over here with my big crock pot and I'm gonna transport it in that. We're down here dropping the soup off. They're having this youth tournament down here at the this building at the riverfront. So here's the bridge. Of course, Connor wanted to walk out there on the dock. Did you see this, Kira? In 1993, there was like a huge flood here. You see where the crest is up there. So think of how high that water is and how much it would have flooded the downtown. Cause like all of this would have been underwater. I remember that. I was only 10 years old, but I still, I still remember Be that. Careful. 
You know, I was just thinking that my grandpa probably has a video of the flood stuff because he used to be always the one with the camcorder, like, you know, walking around recording everything. So I have to ask him, I bet you he has a VHS tape of that flood. <laughs> All right, so before we left, I put the lasagna in the oven. This is actually a lasagna I prepped and froze before I left last week. You guys probably saw that in last week's weekend prep video, maybe. So that's baking away. And then I'm going to make some Caesar salad to go with it so i'm making this whole 30 it's a paleo slash whole 30 caesar dressing i can link the recipe down below it's from 40 aprons so in my blender here i just have one egg uh, anchovy paste garlic salt pepper white wine vinegar mustard powder lemon juice and then for emulsifying it i'm going to use a cup of avocado oil and then i also i'm gonna thin it with almond milk if needed so usually what I do is just put the lid on here and take the top off and then I'll kind of drizzle in the, well, let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it one handed. All right, so I made a little bit of a mess, but that's fine. I do like to thin this out with some almond milk just because I like to be able to kind of pour mine. Otherwise it kind of, it, I mean, basically that's how you make mayonnaise, right? It's like egg and, and oil. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge for now and let it chill Let me make the rest of this out. Okay, so I've got my salad here. There's romaine, parmesan, a little bit of croutons, olives, and tomatoes, and I chilled my dressing, so we're just gonna add a little bit of that and toss it up. All right, so this was super convenient to bake, so it was already put together. So this is actually one that I used the Barilla no boil noodles, and it turned out really well. One thing I would say is make sure that you let your lasagna sit when it comes out of the oven for like 20 minutes. That just helps so it doesn't get soupy. I'm gonna cut myself a piece, and then I'm gonna have my salad on the side. All right, so we're done with dinner. I am going back to the Euchre tournament site to get my crock pot and my, <laughs> my instant pot. Don't you just love it when the kids don't shut the doors? Why is it saying it's open? Is it the back door? By the way, if you guys watched my last <laughs> travel vlog, we went roller skating. One of my coworkers talked me into going roller skating with a group and just so y'all are aware, if you try to go roller skating after you haven't roller skated for about 30 years or so, you're probably gonna fall on your ass and you might, if you're lucky like me, bruise your tailbone. No, I did not go to the doctor. Yes, I self-diagnose myself like the good nurse that I am. But it is starting to get better day by day, but it's still like sore when I like sit down and it was probably the worst thing that I could have done and then go on two, two hour flights on Friday, yeah, not not advised. But anyway, it's getting better, so that's good. Anyway, we I have to go back down and pick up my crock pot and my instant pot. So anyway, I'm gonna go down and pick up my stuff and then I think I'm gonna pick up some Starbucks maybe. Hey guys, happy Sunday morning. I'm here in the laundry room. After uh, we went and picked up like the crock pots and stuff last night, Adam and I, I swear to God, we watched like four episodes, maybe five <laughs> of Yellowstone. Have you guys watched that show? It's really good. So we just kind of hung out in the basement had some beers and watched that so slept in a little bit this morning did make breakfast I just put some marinade on a pork loin so I used a bottle of like Thai chili sauce and then some extra like green chef seasoning that I had and just put it in a ziploc bag so that'll be ready tonight and then I think I'm gonna make some mac and cheese that I got from Costco with it because I need to get that used up and then a veg some kind of veggie on the side so right now what I need to do is take a shower I have not unpacked yet from last week's trip and I have to leave again in the morning for the airport so I'm kind of like a little bit stressed out about that but that's fine we will get it done as we always do so there's a load of Adam's clothes in the washer right now I'm gonna stick these in the dryer unpack my suitcase get some laundry done I want to try and get our sheets changed and washed today too I actually made a list of things I want to get done today so I'll show you that down when I get back downstairs
All right, so I'm gonna take a shower, which I'm um, a hot mess right now, so I really need to, but I wanted to share with you guys some of like my bathroom favorites, if you will. I guess personal care favorites would be a better word for that. So I've got some new products lately and uh, not sponsored. I pay my own money for these, so I just wanna share it with you. So the first one, are these lip glosses from Tula. They're, they come in a three pack and I'll link all this stuff down below, but they come in a three pack, which I really like because I feel like I can put one in my makeup bag, one in my purse, one in my desk. And the thing that I like about them is that they do have a little bit of color to them, but they are also very nicely flavored. Like you can see here, I think one of these is Blackberry and I'm not sure what the other one is, but if you feel weird wearing like brightly colored lipstick, like I'm one of those people, if I put red lipstick on, I'm like, I look ridiculous but these give you like a little bit of tint without being you know overly dark and they're really like sheer and hydrating so i'd recommend these and then i also have been using the way body cream i love this brand and they make my favorite this leave-in conditioner as well which is really good if you've never tried this stuff it smells like freaking magic it smells like unicorns i love it you spray it in your hair when it's wet after the shower but they also have like body products too so i ordered some of their body cream I actually just ordered this on amazon they have a store there on amazon and it smells really good they also have a perfume too that i don't have in here right now but i ordered one of their like smaller bottles of perfume so i could take it with me when i traveled it's magical i love it this i'm actually going to try today and i'll tell you guys how i like it it's the md solar sciences wash away one step cleanser so it says that it's a foaming oil cleanser and normally like when i do an oil cleanse I would do that as like my first step and then do like another cleanse after that. This says it's one step. I'll probably still do another cleanse after it, but I'll let you know how I like this. I really do like their products. I have some of their sunscreen. I have a couple of their things. I have some of their tinted sunscreen too, which I really like. And they also have an SPF lip like product that I really like too. And then for what I've been washing my face with has been the Tula Cult Classic, which I've talked about them before on my channel. I really like, this is just the regular face cleanser. And then I've been using this daily. This is the Neutrogena Salicylic Acid Treatment. I have found that salicylic acid is much more effective for me in keeping acne away. I have not had a pimple, a zit in as long as I can remember. So it's been working really well. So what I typically do in the shower is I'll do like like my oil cleanse i'll rinse that off and then i apply this to my face and i just let it sit on my face for like maybe three or four minutes to really let the salicylic acid work and then i rinse it off and then i just cleanse with my regular cleanser so i guess i'm kind of doing like a three-step cleanse but this is medicated and i really like it a lot and then when i get out of the shower i've been using this clean and clear this is a salicylic acid treatment as well and i don't put this all over my face i just put it in the areas where i tend to break out which would be like my Chin around my mouth area so that's been working really well and then oh and then I really love this way curl cream oh my gosh this stuff is fantastic if you have like wavy hair like me but it needs like a more defined curl I've been putting this on my hair when I get out of the shower if I don't want to straighten it that day and it works fabulously I got this on Amazon too sometimes I think on Amazon it can be like hit and miss in terms of like the products you have to make sure that you're ordering them from like the actual brand store on Amazon and not just some goofy other place because some of them will be like fraudulent products. I'm going to try this out today too. I think I've had this before. This is the Oi shampoo from Davinus. My salon sells this. So when I was there yesterday with Adam getting his hair cut, I got some of the shampoo and conditioner because I needed some more travel stuff and oh god that smells, that smells like delicious. I love it. I think that's it really that I was gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna do, oh, these glasses too. Actually, I should show these to you because last week I did a Warby Parker video and I told you I was gonna have another pair of glasses coming. My prescription actually changed. So these are helping me see a lot better, but these are the Abner and they're clear down here and they're green on the top, which I kind of like and they fit me really well. So, all right, I'm gonna take a shower now. So update, I do highly recommend this cleanser. I think it is awesome. It's like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like a combination between 
clean like a foaming and an oil cleanser, which I guess is what it says, but I really love it. So like I said, I'll link this down below. I would definitely purchase this. Again, it's awesome. And I also just did something productive, which is fantastic. I started laying out my clothes for this week so I can get packed. I don't have to leave super early tomorrow morning. I think I just have to leave around eight, but anything I can get done before always helps. So I need three outfits since I'll be there for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I ended up packing these. Most of these clothes are from Torrid. I can link them down below. These like herringbone kind of like dress leggings with a black top and then this coral colored cardigan. I thought that would go well with these earrings from Nickel and Suede. I love those. And then I just have a leopard print. This is the harp, what they call the Harper top from Torrid. It's they're really comfy and kind of like loose fitting and flowy. They're great to layer under like a blazer or a sweater. So I have that with just a black cardigan and then some black pants. And then with that, I'm going to pack this gold star necklace along with these gold earrings. I think these earrings are from Ana Luisa. I love them a lot. And then this outfit, let's see, these kind of like snakeskin leggings are from Torrid. I just got them not too long ago. I really love them. And then I thought these earrings went really well with this top. This is a loft top. This is pretty old. I want to say I got this like three years ago now but I like it because it's just like a shell and it goes really nice under a blazer this black blazer is from Torrid and then I got this necklace not too long ago from Torrid too I thought that would go well with this so pretty excited to have that done unpacked my suitcase over there I tried this bag for my laptops this past week I don't know I can't say I was really super impressed with it I'm just I'm still on the struggle to find the best laptop backpack all right so I went ahead and did my meal plan for the week or the meal plan for Adam because I'm gonna be gone and I made my grocery list and then I also started this to-do list this morning so I did the meal plan I need to go get groceries right now I need to get a baby card for a friend and uh, give Murphy a bath get groceries I was gonna try and get my nails done but I think they're okay I think I'm just gonna leave them till next week prep food maybe organize my bathroom five times probably not I need to write out a check pay some bills do laundry and change the sheets so it's about three o'clock right now so we've got the rest of the afternoon to work on these things well it's been raining literally all day today which I'm not gonna lie is like kind of cozy and stuff but it's also like 45 50 degrees out so it's like a pretty chilly pretty chilly rain so I'm gonna go to Hy-Vee this week which I did that last week too and it was nice to just be able to get everything all in one place I need to pick up like an Amazon gift card and a greeting card and did you know that you cannot buy Amazon gift cards at Walmart or at least not to my knowledge I assume because it's like a direct competitor of them but you can get them at Hy-Vee so I'm gonna run in here and get my groceries Adam was like I'm craving Whoppers for dinner and I'm like I don't really want to get fast food for dinner so I was thinking maybe instead of the pork tenderloin I would make like burgers instead to go with that mac and cheese that I have from Costco I don't know we'll see we'll see what I decide if I can find some seeded buns here in high V, maybe I'll do the Whoppers Kira specifically asked for green grapes so I'm gonna get some of these I don't know what I don't know what hobgoblin grapes are but that's what we're gonna get and then I need strawberries too but man ten bucks ten bucks for two pounds of strawberries have you guys seen these the Stonefire non dippers but they're like everything season that's kind of cool Sometimes you just have to know when to admit defeat and right now is one of those times because I told you guys, Anna was like, I want a Whopper. <laughs> I haven't had one in a long time and I'm like, we're not getting fast food for dinner. Well, guess where the heck I am right now in the Burger King drive-thru. So it's 5.30 and I thought by the time I get home and unload all these groceries and then try and film my grocery haul, well, I probably cook dinner first and then film my grocery haul. I'm just like, I don't want to deal with being in the kitchen that late. And so my family wins for tonight and gets Gets, and gets Burger King so anyway I'm not getting any I don't I don't really like Burger King I mean I'll eat it if it's like the only thing to eat you know like if you're on a road trip and it's like Burger King's the only thing there I'll eat it like I'll eat a Whopper it's not it's not my favorite thing I think Adam likes like likes Whoppers I mean first of all I think McDonald's fries are far superior I feel like we can all agree about that but in terms of burgers like I would rather have a burger from Wendy's than anywhere mine would probably be Wendy's then McDonald's then Burger King what about you guys although I saw that Wendy's now is having some deal where they've like reinvigorated their fries and they're super crispy or I don't know something like that and if you get like cold fries then you can like bring them back for 
hot fresh ones now i'm blabbing on about fast food fries so uh, okay so i'm gonna pick up dinner which is fine you know sometimes you just have to do that like today it's a it's a fine day to have a takeout dinner because uh then i don't have to worry about dirty dishes i can just focus on prepping food for the rest of the week i feel like this week this last week i was out of town was like one of the most successful like food prep and setups that I've had for my family. And I know that like, I don't have to do this stuff for them, but it makes me feel better knowing that they have like produce ready to go in the fridge. And actually I'm kind of, I feel kind of bad this week for leaving because the kids start swim practice this week and they both have practice at different times. Like one has practice for an hour and then the next hour, the other one has practice. And so Adam is going to be like continuously running back and forth to the pool to drop them off and pick them up and I told him I'm like get your get your parents to help you if they will you know because they're his dad's retired and he'll help him take kids to and from the pool but I do kind of feel bad about that but what are you gonna do right such such as life such as being a grown-up okay so I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the grocery store but first I am actually going to meal prep this food because this is actually something that Adam and the kids can eat this week while I'm gone so I bought this from Costco I don't know maybe a couple of weeks back whenever my last Costco haul was and it's beef brisket macaroni and cheese which sounds really good so I just have it on a tray here basically you just kind of have to heat it up in the oven so I'm gonna bake that in the oven and then I thought for the pork tenderloin I would actually try it in the air fryer you probably hear my air fryer going right now it's preheating so the recipe that I found for air fryer pork tenderloin basically just said to cook it for about 20 minutes on 400 and I'm preheating the air fryer right now I did add a little bit of this rub to the pork tenderloin because I wanted to make sure it had flavor and it wasn't bland and the marinade that I used for it did not have a ton of salt in it so I just wanted to make sure that it was it was flavorful so I'm gonna cook this up I'll probably leave some of it whole and slice some of it I don't know I might just make some meal prep lunches for Adam this week we'll see also I haven't eaten dinner either because I didn't want Burger King so maybe I'll eat some of it for dinner all right so I'm gonna put the pork in the air fryer I did end up cutting each I didn't realize there was two pork tenderloins in there but I ended up cutting them in half because obviously I needed them to fit. I can link the air fryer I have down below. It's a kasori. I absolutely love it. It fits, it fits a lot of food. So we're going to do 420 minutes. All right, so let me show you guys what I got at the store today. I spent a little over $200, but that is what happens when you go to Hy-Vee. Although, I don't know. I mean, we've talked about how grocery prices are going up. I didn't need like a ton of produce this week, so I still have some leftover from last week that I'm gonna prep, but either way, here we go. All right, uh, I got some Honeycrisp apples. These were on sale. They said they were local, so I'm not exactly sure where they're from. It says Minnesota? No, Michigan. Oh, it says M-I-N. Okay, I was like, Minnesota, that's Michigan. Yeah, so I guess Michigan is not really local to me, but whatever. We really like cutting crisp apples, and last week what I did was I cut up a bunch of apples and soaked them in salt water, rinsed them off, and you're able to keep them that way in the refrigerator, and they don't brown, and the kids really liked having those to eat throughout the week. I got some shredded iceberg lettuce. This will be for tacos. I need to make some taco meat yet tonight. I got some sugar snap peas. The kids really like having these to snack on as a veggie option. I got one English cucumber. I think what I'm gonna do with this is cut it up and put it in some baggies with this Hidden Valley Ranch. I got these ranch cups. I know that I can do this myself, but again, convenience wins for this week. Two days is not a long time to be home <laughs> in between trips. So I'm, I'm trying to think about that. Like traveling back to back weeks is not for the faint of heart, but here we go. We didn't come to this life to be faint of heart. So, okay, I got four peaches. I also cut up some of these last week for the kids and they really like them. Last week's weekend prep video, I kind of showed you guys my fridge and all of the fruit and everything that I had prepped in there. The kids polished all of the fruit and veggies off. It was all gone. It was so... <laughs> I was so proud of them. I got two tomatoes. So if we would have made the Whoppers tonight, I was going to use one of these for that. And then one I'm going to cut up for tacos, but we didn't end up making those. So I'll still cut up one of these for tacos and then we'll have an extra one to use for something. Uh, I did get some romaine lettuce. I decided that I wasn't going to wash my own tonight. It is starting to get a little bit 
later in the evening. So I think what I'm gonna do is prep some salads for Adam to have for the week. I still have that Caesar dressing that I made last night and he really liked that. I have some uh, blueberries here that I got. These are on sale for $2.99, so not a terrible price. I'll wash those up. And then I decided to get the shortcuts pineapple, which is pre-cut, but it is a good shortcut for me to have tonight. I got some of these green grapes. I need to wash these up for Kira. She's the one that uh, requested those. These strawberries were ridiculously expensive. I think they've honestly probably been around six to seven dollars at Aldi for two pounds, but I paid ten dollars for these, which is ridiculous, but my kids love them, so I got those. I got these for Adam. Saw this in sort of like, they, at Hy-Vee they have this setup that's got like a bunch of sort of like jams and pickles and nuts. It's like basically to build charcuterie boards, and these are whiskey cornichons, so basically little pickles refined with whiskey. Since he really likes whiskey, I thought he would enjoy those. Got the kids some mandarin oranges. I haven't bought these in a while. These are just the ones in juice with no added sugar. So they can have those for breakfast and lunches. I got quite a few like little lunchable snacky things. This worked out great last week because when the kids want to pack their lunch, they have, you know, fruit prepped, yogurt. They just, you know, throw one of these into their lunchbox with some sides and there you go. I got some of these Sargento balanced breaks. These are cheese and crackers. They're wheat thins with cheddar cheese. And then I got some of these Hormel Natural Choice. I get these all the time. These are uncured pepperoni and cheddar. Kira will eat these and these will all be gone by the time I get back. You like the cracker ones better or the wraps? Oh, do you? But you like the wrap ones too? I like the wrap ones better when I get the cup versus oh. the versus You know if you warm these up in the microwave a little bit, they taste like pizza. Just like 15 seconds and they get soft. Yeah, they're good. Okay, she said she likes the cracker ones better since she's had braces, but these are basically just turkey. They're not turkey, they're pepperoni, cheddar, and crackers. And then these are in a little wrap. Connor likes these too, so he can take those in his lunch. Okay, I saw these, I don't know, I thought maybe the kids could try them for a fun little breakfast. These are Jimmy Dean morning combos. So it's mini maple pancakes with maple sausage bites, and you just have to heat it up for like 30 seconds in the microwave. Got a couple of these chicken Lunchables just because they were on sale. These just have basically chicken nuggets in them with ketchup and then they have like one or, or one or two Oreos in there I think. And then these I've got, I think someone already ate one of these. <laughs> Where's the other one at? The P3, I got two of these. This one has turkey, Colby Jack, and almonds, and this one has turkey, bacon, and Colby Jack. And then this one is another Hormel one. It's chicken with cheddar, and then it's got like these chocolate-covered almonds in it. And then these are really good too, the Cracker Barrel Bites. This one has pretzels and cheese in it, and this one has crackers and cheese. So tons of options there for them to either have for an after-school snack or take to lunch. We're running out of Kraft Singles. Actually, I think we're all the way out, and so I got another package of these. I would have also used this for the Whoppers tonight, but we didn't end up making them. So those, those I really don't use these. Honestly, like we don't use these on our sandwiches. I mostly just use like sharp cheddar cheese, but obviously when you make a grilled cheese, you definitely need a good old <laughs> Kraft single. So I got those and then they had uh, the Kraft cheese on sale. So I got this instead of the Hy-Vee brand. I got one Colby Jack and one sharp cheddar for if they have chili this week or tacos. I got some cheese. This was actually free. Hy-Vee had a deal where if you purchased a pound of Deluso turkey breast, you got half a pound of cheese free. So I went ahead and got the sharp cheddar cheese free. And then I did get some eggs are running low on those. They had these on display, these caramel apples that are like decorated. So I think I'm gonna cut this up tonight and we're all just gonna share it. It's very large and I doubt that any one of us <laughs> will be able to eat it all. So that's what we're gonna do with that. Some of these like cottage cheese things, I thought Adam could try these. He normally likes cottage cheese and he will eat like sweet with his cottage cheese. I don't prefer that. Like I really only eat my cottage cheese with pepper like pepper and crackers with crackers, but he does like like fruit with his. So I thought he could try these. This one is cottage cheese with peach, and then this one is cottage cheese with pineapple. I did get some of these Count Chocula mini treats. These are like basically little cereal bars, and I thought these would be good for like portion control for a Halloween treat. I am hoping to maybe pack Connor a couple of Halloween lunches this week, probably tomorrow and uh, Friday maybe. That's probably home late Thursday night, so I got these and then it really likes these jello strawberry cheesecake cups so I got her some more of those um, she also loves 
the Cracker Barrel Sharp Cheddar Cheese Stick. So yes, more cheese. Uh, two pack of those because I feel like, I don't know, I think Adam takes these in his lunch too. I feel like we go through them fast. I got some Boom Chicka Pop. This was on sale for $1.99 a bag. This is the Cheddar Cheese Popcorn. I don't remember if I've tried this flavor before, but all of their flavors are pretty good. So got that. And then I also saw that they had the Terrapin Ridge Farms Hot Pepper Bacon Jam. So I cannot remember. I feel like it was at Boulevard Brewery where Adam and I had this on a cheese board and it was really, really good. And so I was super excited to find it at hy V. I I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. So I think I'm gonna try at some point to make some type of charcuterie board with this. I feel like we had this with like crackers and like a really sharp cheddar cheese. But if you've never tried bacon jam before, it's like wheat and salty. It's really, really good. It sounds weird, but I promise it's good. Um, I got some more of these pretzels with cheese dip for the kids to take in their bag for snack this week for school. And then we needed more water flavoring. So this is the Crystal Light Strawberry Lemonade. They had taco seasoning, buy one, get one free. So I got two of those. And then I also got some flour tortillas for them to have for tacos this week. I got a loaf of wheat bread. We were out of that. Okay, so I found these in like, I don't, I don't remember where I found them at. Were they in the Halloween section? Anyway, they're pickle ice. So it says it's a flavored freeze pop with no sugar. And I honestly think that it's just pickle juice. Like I got these kind of for Connor as a joke because he really loves pickles. I really doubt Kira will try these but anyway they were only 50 cents each so if they're gross I mean whatever but let me know if you guys have seen these before I'm like that's weird but I guess if you really like pickles maybe they're good I don't know okay I got these for Kira she likes the fettuccine alfredo lean cuisine so I got her two of those I got some fries for a side for dinner one night this week Adam likes spam once in a while with his eggs in the morning so I just saw this there and I was like oh, I'll get him one of those so got that and then I got a couple different sizes of containers I really like these large Hall containers. They're really great for prepping and putting fruit in. And then I also got some of these because you guys, they did not even get into the big pot of chili that I brought to the Euchre tournament last night. Like I got it all back. So I have a ton to freeze. So I'm going to freeze some of it in those. I did also get some more sparkling water. I love sparkling water and this sounds really, really good. Orange vanilla. How delicious does that sound? I'm the only one that drinks it, but I figured that would be good to have on hand. I got some Diet Cherry Pepsi. And then I don't know if this is in a hy brand or what, but it says Fruit Leaf Strawberry Kiwi Hydrating Juice Water. I got these for the kids to try. They don't have any added sugar, so I thought those would be interesting for them to try. I got some vinegar. I was all out of white vinegar. I did get some chips. These are the Utz barbecue chips. So Kira really likes barbecue chips. Well, everyone will eat those, I guess. Because one night, I think they're probably going to have hot dogs and chips for dinner along with fruit on the side. So I got some hot dog buns. And then these were the sesame seed buns I ended up getting for the copycat Whoppers. So these will probably go in the fridge. I got some good old Totino's pizza rolls for them to have. Sometimes Adam will make these for dinner while I'm gone in the air fryer. Do like a side salad or like carrots and ranch or something like that. So easy dinner there. And then I got some plug-in. This is for the downstairs bathroom, one of the Febreze ones. I was out of toothpaste. I've really been liking the Sensodyne at toothpaste. So I got the whitening Sensodyne. We're almost out of plastic fork and I use these in the kids lunches so got some more of those and then I also got Adam some body wash this one smells really good it's old spice so I'm gonna get these groceries put away right now and then we're gonna prep some taco meat and some other things All right, so I've got my salad spinner here. I'm gonna go ahead and start washing my produce. Got my peaches. I'm gonna, oh, there's a sticker on that one. All right, well, I'm gonna make sure all the stickers are off and then just soak them in cold water with a little bit of vinegar. So this was all the chili I had left over. This Instant Pot, well, you guys saw it. It was almost totally full. So I portioned it out into these three containers, which was perfect. So one of these I'm gonna put in the freezer. One of these I'm gonna give to Adam's parents. And then the other one I'm gonna put in the refrigerator. And I do have on the meal plan this week that Adam can heat this up and do chili dogs with it or just eat it plain whatever. Kira's not a huge fan of chili so like if he does chili dogs she'll probably just eat plain hot dogs or something like that so that's what I'm going to do with that. This is the brisket mac and cheese. Holy bejesus this stuff is delicious. You can see I just took a little corner out of that and ate it so I could taste it but it is so good. So if you see that at Costco or if you've had it before let me know. I'm like it's one of those things that I saw and I'm like yeah I bet that'll be good but then it's like you combine smoked brisket and mac and cheese delicious and then the 
pork in the air fryer turned out so good. You guys can see how moist it is. I'm just letting it rest here. So I think what I'm gonna do is slice this thin, kind of against the grain like that so that it's tender. I'm gonna pack it up in some meal prep containers with some barbecue sauce and then the macaroni and cheese on the side. I won't use all of this pork. So I think probably what I'm gonna do is leave a couple of these whole and just put them in the refrigerator. And when I get back later this week, I can maybe do some Cuban type sandwiches or wraps or something. You guys know like with the pork, ham, pickles, Swiss cheese, that kind of thing, that sounds really good. So those turned out good. Here in my pot, I've got, I thought out two pounds of ground beef yesterday when I was making the chili. So I've got that here in my pot and I'm gonna make some taco meat for um, the kids to have this week. That's always something that goes over really well. And I just use one packet of taco seasoning to two pounds of a grub beef. So I'm gonna put in my taco seasoning. I need to buy another big container of it at Costco. Some water. I always add more water than it calls for because I like to simmer mine for a while so it gets really tender. Yes, I'm stirring with my meat masher. What do you call it? Mix and chop, chop and stir. I don't know. Oh, here we go, okay on that simmer that i don't know what murphy wants do you want to go outside is that what you want come on let's go he's like not happy today because of course dogs you know don't love going outside in the rain oh potty it's like screw you lady all right so update on this polar seltzer vanilla orange holy heck this is good i just poured it over some ice it tastes like cream soda honestly I feel like any, you know, like soda or sparkling water with vanilla in it kind of tastes like cream soda, but that's delightful. Highly recommend if you can find it. All right, so I'm just loading up the dishwasher. I got these new dishwasher packs from Grove. I just wanted to try them out. I really like them. They're lemon and eucalyptus. So anyway, I haven't ordered from them in a long time and I just kind of restarted again. So I'm gonna get this started up and I'm gonna go downstairs upstairs and fold some laundry. Because right now my laundry's all over the bed. And Adam wants to go to bed in a little bit. <laughs> I also got, I think I showed you guys these in a different video. But these are like the fall sort of containers for dish soap and hand soap. I do like them. I think they look nice. So I'm more proud of dish soap. But I just paired them with the mum scent from Mrs. Myers, Which I really, really like. Kind of, I don't know. Scents are a funny thing. It kind of reminds me of like when I first started YouTube. And first started ordering from Grove. It does smell really good. It's now 11 o'clock and I've been upstairs for a little while working on laundry, making beds, changing sheets, packing the rest of my clothes, etc. So I need to come back down here and finish what I can finish in the kitchen. I am clearly running out of time and I'm not gonna get everything done on my list, but you know, such is life. Okay, so I always put things in containers because I feel like people will eat them <laughs> that way when they can see them. So these are actually just like these restaurant containers, I think they call them. I don't know, when we order sometimes from this Tex-Mex restaurant, we always get extra chips and salsa and they put the salsa in these big containers. And so I always just wash them and save them because they're great for stuff like this. So these are sugar snap peas. My kids just eat these plain. They don't eat them with ranch or anything. So got that. And then I've got some strawberries. I want to wash these. I'm just gonna put a little bit of paper towel in the bottom just to make sure that soak up any extra moisture and it'll help them last a little bit longer. Although these will probably only last a couple days in my fridge anyway, which is fine. So the good thing is, is that I do have all of my clothes packed for tomorrow. I, I think I told you guys I ordered another laptop bag because I cannot find, I just, I've just been having the hardest time finding a laptop bag that fits two laptops and that isn't like heavy as heck and fits on the plane. So I ordered one from Amazon and it was supposed to come today, but it didn't. So I'm gonna have to go back to one of my previous ones for tomorrow, which is fine. I also really wanted to decorate for Halloween, but as it seems, that is not going to happen this year because next weekend is Halloween. And yeah, I'm returning on late, late on Thursday night. And Sunday is Halloween. Connor is being Venom for Halloween. What are your, what are you guys' kids being? Connor wanted to be Venom, so Adam ordered him a costume. It's actually kind of cool looking. I do not know if they're having anything at school. I have not heard anything about it if they are. Ever since the pandemic, they really have not been doing school parties, which just kind of sucks. But they are having trick-or-treating this year, so I think Kira and Adam are gonna stay home and pass out candy, and I'm gonna walk around with Connor and trick-or-treat, so. 
Anyway, I normally like to decorate a little bit for Halloween, but I just, I with all this traveling going on this year, I just did not have time. And I feel like, you know, I can only prioritize so many things, especially on the weekend when my weekend just like flies by. It's like decorating is not something I normally prioritize, it's, unless it's Christmas. If it's Christmas, then that's a totally different story. Of course I do that. Sometimes I think too that I should maybe, some of the things that I do frequently, sometimes I feel like I should keep track of how much time it takes me. That way I can have a better idea of what I can accomplish and how many things I can get done. Like for example, it probably took me, you know, between picking out my outfits for this week, trying them on, some of these clothes, you know, I have not worn since before the pandemic and it's like I'm not gonna pack stuff in my suitcase that I don't know if it fits or not without trying it on because I'll be damned if I'm gonna get somewhere you know and not have access to professional work clothes but <laughs> anyway I feel like you know it probably took me like between like trying everything on you know I try to do a carry-on only so I roll everything it takes forever rolling everything putting it in the suitcase making sure I have all my toiletries it probably took me a good hour and if like I would think about that I would think oh it's only gonna take me 20 minutes no that's a lie i'm telling myself a lie all right so these peaches i'm also gonna cut up because i think i told you guys that worked out really well last week sometimes i feel too like if you leave peaches on the counter they just get kind of soft and yucky if you don't eat them right away depending on how ripe they are but i mean my kids really like them and so i feel like if i cut them up and have them in the fridge they will just eat the crap out of them adam told me last week that the kids ate like that whole container of pineapple. <laughs> they just like ate it after dinner one night. And he's like, man, I don't know how they ate that. My, the inside of my mouth would have been super sore. And I'm like, yeah, I know, they're like invincible. All right, so here is uh, this pork that has thoroughly, thoroughly rusted now. <laughs> I found some barbecue sauce in the pantry that's actually really good. See, that's like cooked perfectly. I will definitely cook my pork tenderloin like this from now on. I feel like sometimes when you cook it in the oven, it can get dried out, but All right, so here are my mac and cheese and pork meal prep. So I'm just gonna put some of this. This is some type of barbecue sauce. Iowa Smokehouse Smoky Orange. I can't remember where I got it. It's really good though. All right, so those are done. I'm gonna pack these up. Adam can have them for lunch this week. Then the other two pieces of pork tenderloin, I'm just gonna stick in the fridge and then we'll just, we'll use them for something at some point. Eggs maybe, I'll get with eggs. Get on a salad, get in it. Quesadilla. Hey guys, good morning. So I tapped out at like 11.30 last night because I was just tired and I needed to go to bed. So it is now about 6.20. I got up at 5.30 this morning and got ready and I need to leave for the airport around probably 18 today probably would be the latest I should leave. But I wanted to review my to-do list because I did not get everything done like I knew I wouldn't. So I need to get a baby card, which I got that. Murphy, I was gonna give him a bath yesterday and I just totally ran out of time, so that's fine. I think he has a grooming appointment scheduled. It actually might be next week, so that'll be okay. I got groceries. I wanted to see if I could get my nails done, but I'm gonna pass on that. Obviously, they're fine. I'll do it when I get back this coming week. I wanted to prep our food, organize the bathroom. Nope, did not get to that. Okay, so I did I did do laundry and I did change sheets last night. So the last thing I kinda wanna do this morning was to show you guys all the food I got prepped. I wanna cut up some apples and I'm washing some grapes right now. I also need to, I have a bunch of not a bunch, but a couple bills that I need to write checks out and get in the mail today. We mostly pay our bills on like direct auto payment or whatever, but sometimes, you know, like when you get medical bills or like we have someone come and fill our water softener with salts every month, like that kind of stuff, they always send us a bill for it and then I have to write a check. And then I want to show you guys too, when I was at Hy-Vee yesterday, I kind of wanted to get Adam a little something because I know that, you know, it's, I don't want to say it's like hard on him when I'm not here, but like it's more difficult for him when I'm not here, especially like this week is going to be, it's going to be really hectic for him this week, trying to, you know, get off work, make dinner, take two kids to swim practice at two different times, so on and so forth. So I found this card that's basically just like a thank you card for your significant other or whatever. So I got this for him. I'm gonna put this on his desk. He's still in bed. And then I showed you guys these I got in the grocery haul and then I also 
got these at the gas station for him because he loves ranch <laughs> corn nuts. I don't buy them very often. So I'm gonna go put these on his desk. I think he might be working from home today and just write out a card for him and tell him how much I appreciate him. And I think that it's just important to do nice things like that for your significant other if you have one, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna write this card out, write these checks out, uh, get the rest of my food prepped. I'll show you that in a little bit as well. Okay, so this is what I did with the apples. I did this last week and it worked out really well. I just cut them up and soaked them in salt water. That stops them from browning and then you just have to rinse them off really well to make sure they don't you know, taste <laughs> salty. And then I had a few left that did not fit in there. I washed up some blueberries. So we've got strawberries that I washed up last night. Blueberries, I cut up some tomatoes for tacos, sugar snap peas, some washed tomatoes. This is chili that has cheese already in it. So Adam will take that to work if he wants. And then this is another container of chili. I put away the other two that I had. This is taco meat. These two are the pork and the mac and cheese. I cut up some peaches. There's pineapple back there and grapes. And then I kind of organized all of the Lunchable stuff that I bought in these two containers. And then also filled up the cheese drawer and then a couple other things down here that don't. All right, so the last thing I need to do is get the kids' swim stuff ready for this week. So I don't know what happened to their stuff from last year, but they needed new fins anyway because they outgrew them. So I ordered these Speedo like mesh gear bags on Amazon, and then I'm gonna label everything. Like they have pull buoys and boards and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna label everything with a permanent marker so that nothing gets mixed up because kids lose everything. And that's the last thing I wanna do. All right, so that's done. Kira has more stuff because she's in a larger age group, but everything fit in this bag, which is good. I, can't, I don't remember ordering her a pink one, but I guess I did because that's what color they had. She's not gonna probably enjoy that, but whatever. Connor, I got him a red one, so those are ready. And then they, they do have their bags too, their goggles and towel and stuff in them, so they should be good to go. All right, so that is gonna be it for me. Thanks you guys for watching this week's weekend prep video. I will have all the information down below for Built Bar as well. If you would like 10% off your first order, you can use my code at Jen Chapin 10 and uh, I gotta get ready to go down the road. So see you later. Thanks. Bye.